Voice your out. Hi guys. Um, hopefully you understand my accent. So this is a rock I painted last year for a girl. And as you can see, it's been weather beaten. I sealed it um, using just a lacquer spray. So she contacted me and asked me could I redo her the rock. So I did. Uh, this is an updated. So basically this video is going to be all about how I updated this rock. And you won't have to listen to me the whole way through, I promise. So this is how we started and I sanded down the rock with some 400 grit sanding paper just to get some of the last of the picture off. Um, I'm going to let the music play from now on and let you enjoy the video. Uh, I'll add words wherever I need to. Have a really, really good day and I really hope that you all understand my Irish accent. <laughs> so long before. Bye.
part I always 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 wear gloves and the only resin I've ever used is art resin. Um, the reason I resin my work is because I just find it gives it a nice glassy kind of finish. Just so shiny I love it and that's part from paper and background resin won't stick to it. So I take my weighing scales <laughs> and I make a mess. Um, a way out I decide that I want to use 20 mil of resin all together because I'm resin three pieces that's actually a little bit more than I needed to use so this resin comes in two parts it comes in resin and hardener so you have to pour it in equal parts so this that I'm pouring at the moment is a resin bottle and then I'll pour 10 mils of hardener in a second you have to try and get it as precise as you can because it is a one-to-one -one ratio. And then comes the fun part. You have to stir the resin or mix up the resin for three minutes. Now, most people wouldn't go as rough as I'm going there now. You try and go slowly and back and forth. But I did that for three minutes. I decided you didn't want to see it. So I'm going to go ahead and resin the rock and then resin these two wood slices I've got on either side. So I decided to go with the wood slices first. Just drop a bit in the middle using my little spatula. So you can see the consistency there. It's Gloopy would be the word. It kind of like the same consistency as, as PVA glue. So I'm only going to resin the top of these wood slices. So I'm just using my glued finger just to rub it around and bring it to the edge. And you can already see where the glitter is starting to come through. Extra shiny. And then ripple effects that you see that the resin is self-leveling. So that will disappear after a while. Again, do the same with this one. Sorry about the noise in the background. My daughter is uh, playing <laughs> with wood slices. I actually cannot cope with the shine that resin gives these things. Now all the little lumps and bumps that you see, I'll show you in a little while how to get rid of, of them. She did not make a single noise when I wasn't talking and I kid you not. So I pour the last of the resin onto the rock and I use my gloves to rub it in all over because I, I don't want to drip lines so I find if I rub it in over the front and over the back it'll stop any sort of drip lines coming down onto it. Make a more even coat. So that's a very thin layer of resin going on that rock but I will be pouring a second and third layer onto the top of it um, over the next couple of days. So I'll just pour the last bit of the resin on yet. Yeah. Just to try and give the top of it a bit of a thicker coat. But as I say, over the next few days, I will be giving that far more attention. Still a little bit of resin less than the pot. So I'm just going to pour that over the centre of each wood slice. I'm sorry about my hands getting in the way. And then I'll use that little plastic spatula to spread the resin out a little bit towards the edges. A little bit. I need to speak English before I can speak Irish. take off the gloves by the way always wear gloves when you're using resin you don't want to end up with the stuff all over your fingers and hands but this is my straw I only have reusable straws in the house and what I'm doing is I'm blowing on the resin for two different reasons it will pop the bubbles that come to the layer of the surface the surface layer the layer the surface top of the, the top of the surface oh my god I can't speak um, and it will also help to spread the resin easy or evenly across the top of that wood slice. So I don't know if you can see the popping of the bubbles, but there's tiny little bubbles like hundreds of them being popped with the heat of my air. You can also, you can also use a hot air gun to blow out them bubbles, but I, I don't have one, so I just find this works. Now, if I was making larger resin pieces, I'm sure that a lighter or a hot air gun would work better. But uh, I always find I'm fine on this. Give them a right good blow dry. This is them up close then. You can just see the shine of that resin. Oh, look at the sparkles pop. 
that will all settle as I say it's, it's uh, self -le self leveling resin I'd love to do a purple actually angel just so I could use that in it there is sparkles in the wings you can't really see them I've taken off my gloves so I don't want to move it too much but yeah that was my resin in today I really hope you enjoyed this thank you so much this video was recorded in real time so i just i'm glad that you stayed around thank you